Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. A lot of people are still asking, how do you explain price movements? And that's what the Japanese or candlestick charting does. Here is the logic built into candlestick analysis. Where do most people sell? They panic sell at the bottom. Notice when the stochastics were in the oversold area, they gapped down and traded down big at this level. And the Japanese rice traders always profess that if you see people panic selling at the bottom, start looking for buying. We saw that this past week where they gapped down because they were going to war. And anytime you see that gap down in the oversold area, that's the time if you're short to start taking profits. That's when the buying will start. Now, on when they start buying, notice it wasn't actually a signal in the uh, Dow. That told us when it got to the T line, watch to see what was happening there because it's not a true reversal signal. It showed there was buying. Uh, not that this is important, but right now the uh, futures and on late Sunday night are trading down 500 points. So you wanna see what they do tomorrow near the open. Same scenario on the NASDAQ, where do most people sell? When they gap down in an oversold area, start looking for a buy signal, notice the piercing signal, and then bullish confirmation. However, we still have to make sure they stay above the T-line, that's your final criteria. So the sectors that should be acting strong if this market moves up are the steel stocks and the gambling stocks that were selling off last week are now going bullish. So the steel stocks all did kind of belt hold type signals and you can see on uh, steel dynamics, not only did it do a belt hold, but it bounced right off the 50. That's additional confirmation. The bulls have stepped in creating this little J hook pattern breakout wave three. And the gambling stocks, IGT, same scenario, belt hold signal. If it trades positive tomorrow, you're in wave three. Now the belt hold signal is very indicative of the sellers just getting out no matter what. And then the bulls start buying up all that uh, selling, which means now all that selling is gone. There's less selling in, in the way any buying is gonna run into less selling resistance. That makes for the next wave to the upside. The bigger the signal, as we can see in edit, there was quite a few, like hundreds of bullish engulfing signals that occurred last week and confirmed. You can be buying these with a simple criteria. You stay long now, as long as they do not close back below the T line. You can still short stocks, VICR. You can see how you had a bearish kicker signal. That tells you there's still a lot of bearish strength in this downtrend. Same thing with EBS. Notice it came right up to the T-line and failed and then did a kicker type signal telling you there's still a lot of force to the downside. Now, this is not rocket science as I often reiterate this is just identifying the strength and weakness in uh, bullish uh, candlestick signals and patterns. And that's based upon human nature. If you wanna get a background on all the signals and patterns that work effectively, there's about, uh, well, you wanna read this book. You wanna start off with high profit candlestick patterns. That's gonna give you a lot of insights as to what goes on in investor sentiment based upon those signals and patterns. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.